Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making the Justina pouch and this is a Two Sisters textile um, kit, but the pattern is by Justina T Handmade. So let's get into it. So in the pouch here, you have a uh, sew fuse, a lighter, uh, a lighter weight woven fuse to the wrong side of the chosen inner panel and sew fuse plus, which is a stiffer woven, adds structure, fuse to the wrong side of the chosen exterior panel, and then fleece adds structure, fuse to exterior panel on top of sew fuse plus. So let's pull all of this out. Now in the instructions, um, of the video by Justina, she did not have all of these interfacings. So, um, I don't know how I'm supposed to know what is what. Okay, so this is the fleece because it's like fuzzy. And then there's a lighter woven and a stiffer woven. Lighter woven, stiffer woven. Okay, so I think that this is the sew fuse, this is the sew fuse, this is the sew fuse plus, and this is the fleece. Okay, so the sew fuse should go on to the inner panel. So if we've got these two panels, it should go on the inner. So I'm going to do this one as the inner. So, and for um, fusible, you will see that one side will be like shiny or sticky looking. Okay, so that's gonna go onto that. And then stiffer woven adds structure. So I'm assuming that's this. And we're gonna go ahead and put that on here. So now this one is cut slightly smaller than the fabric. The other one is like the same size. And then we've got the fleece, which again is smaller. I don't know, it's interesting. Um, okay, so the first step, oh, and there's no instructions in these uh, kits. It just has like a link to a YouTube video. So I went ahead and watched that video. It is very fascinating how she went about putting these bags together. I've never seen someone put them together in this manner. So I am very interested to try this. So let me go, go ahead and fuse all these interfaces on and then we will move on to actually making the pouch. Okay, so we have the interfacings uh, fused on. So with the exterior, I centered them and then with the interior, it's the same size, so I left it how it is because that's what I was given. Um, the next step is to sew, oh, to sew on the zipper, and you use one continuous zipper. So in the original video, she suggests making two pouches at a time so that you don't waste the other half of the zipper. So we are just going to put this zipper on. Uh, let me mark the middle. So I've got the middle here and then the middle of the zipper tape here okay so now we can take some pins and place the zipper tab down this down. Come on. Place the zipper tab. Okay, and then an inch and a quarter from each side, we want to make a mark. So an inch, no, an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter. So an inch and a quarter. Wait. inch and a quarter an inch and a quarter so that would be right here from each end we want to mark because that so an inch and a quarter in is where we want to stop our zipper tab 
because we want it to just trail off on the end. And I'm confused in this kit how I'm supposed to do this because at the end we're going to end up putting these uh, tacks or whatever you call them. But you're supposed to use like a machine to do it and I don't have that machine. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. Let's get the rest of the pouch sewn and we will figure it out when we get there. Okay. We'll put a pin in it. Let's see here. And I'm just gonna use white thread today. Okay, so I am going to baste down the zipper and I have the zipper upside down facing downwards and I am going to baste from this inch and a quarter mark to the inch and a quarter mark. Zipper foot on. If you don't know, this is a zipper foot and an invisible zipper foot. I'm gonna put that foot on. Okay, now we have our zipper uh, basted. So now I can take the other side, the inside, place that downwards, and we're gonna take the zipper tab that's on the front and just like push it down so that it's out of the way and doesn't get caught up. I'm gonna do that on both sides, just it down at an angle so it's out of the way and we are going to sew them all the way across come on all right didn't work okay let me add this on top here
So we have it all pinned. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch back tacking on each end all the way across. So I had some bad bunching on the one side, so I just went ahead and flipped it and uh, sewed it down on the other side. So now if we open it up, our zipper teeth are showing on the right side. Okay, so now if we flip it upwards and then we stitch and then we leave an opening on the inside. And we're gonna throw these zipper tabs inside make sure that our top and bottom match up here go ahead and pin this down lots of pins And I'm assuming with all this interfacing that I'm supposed to just sew shorter than the interfacing? I, I don't know, it's a lot of interfacing. So let me stitch this up and put a regular foot back on. I got some bunching once again. So once again, I'm gonna flip it over, stitch it on the other side, just to reinforce my stitches and make sure that this pouch doesn't pop open. Okay, now we're gonna box the corners, which is a half an inch. So on each side, we'll just mark half an inch I feel like this is so tiny, like a half inch. I don't know, I've never done a half inch box corner. But that's what the video said. She said half inch. It's interesting. Definitely interested to see how this turns out. All right, let's do a half inch. Like that is so itty bitty. I just, I feel like she had to have met an inch. I don't get that. It's so small. Like, what's the point? But we are gonna follow what it said. I really don't get all this crazy interfacing though. Right. Let's see here. Like what what's even the point of this? I can't even box these corners. She had to have met an inch. This doesn't make any sense. Like how am I supposed to box this tiny corner? That doesn't make any sense. She had to have met an inch. 
Okay, we're doing an inch because this doesn't make any sense. Let's try this again. Okay, this makes so much more sense. So she had to have meant an inch and not a half inch. It is so hard to cut through all this interfacing. I don't know how in the world I'm gonna sew these box corners on the exterior side. I'm very confused, but we will keep going. Now that we've got the corners boxed, okay, this makes more sense now. Now we can push them up and sew across just like you would any other boxed corner. I'm gonna go ahead, I don't even think it's worth pinning, just sew it. box corners are boxed so let's flip this guy right side out which wow that's hard with all that interfacing okay okay Pushing out the corners. Zipper tape fully exposed, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch shut this lining. If I really wanted to, I could change to a red or an orange thread. I do not care that much, so we are not doing that. If someone is analyzing your pouches so much that they Analyze the color of your inside thread. That's not someone you need to be friends with. All right, let's stitch this down. Trim these threads. Thankfully, these ones didn't bunch on me. I had so much bunching on the inside. I think it's because this pouch is just so thick with all that interfacing. There's interfacing on everything. All right, let's trim these up. Shove them back in. Okay, we are almost done. Stick on the zipper tab, which this is a first for me. I've never made a pouch like this before where I have to insert my own zipper tab. Okay, that wasn't bad. The other one on. Come on. Come on. Maybe you have to do them both at the same time. The first one went simple. I've seen where like people have special tools or they'll use like a fork. Come on. Of 
course now it doesn't want to zip. What is going on? It's like the lining fabric's getting caught up. But as far as I remember on the tutorial, it did not say to top stitch down the zipper. Ugh, okay. Oh, now it's stuck. Dang it. Oh no, it fell off. I'm gonna stitch down this zipper. I don't care if it said to or not to. This is really annoying. All right. Try this again now that I sewed down the inner fabric so now it shouldn't come up. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we are zipped. On to the last step, which I have no idea how we're going to accomplish. Okay, so we have this little piece of faux leather, which is intended to go over this zipper tab here. And then you're supposed to use like this punch thing and then you put this brad or braid or whatever you call these things, but I don't have that. So I don't know how to do this. I do have the all from the, um, the tab things, the, um, I did a video, the snaps. Let's try the all and then maybe the, pliers I have for um the key fobs I, I I don't know let's let's try it all right here's the all let's give this a shot okay Okay, I made two holes with the awl. Not very good holes. Um, I don't even know. They're not big enough. Come on. The holes are not big enough. Um, maybe I'll just rip the crap out of it with a seam ripper. Come 
Come on. Okay, so I got the first one, like manhandled through. That's so stupid. Was I supposed to fold this in half? That doesn't make any sense. Why is it so like bulky like that? Maybe I was supposed to fold this in half. Of course, it's not gonna pop off, right? Dang it. I think maybe I was supposed to fold the zipper tape in half. I don't know. Fold the zipper tape in half, maybe? No, that doesn't make sense because then this is like hanging out. This has got to be right. This looks so stupid. Um, all right, let's try this again. Maybe it wasn't like pushed on all the way. No, that's all the way. That's so dumb looking. I don't think these are the right size or something. Okay, let's try the other side. Let me find my clippers. All right, let's give this a shot. We might uh, break them. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. I don't know if I totally just destroyed these. Yep, I just like totally busted them. Okay, so that wasn't a good idea. I mean, <laughs> It's all like cockeyed now. All right, let's go over and review this pouch. So I think this is a super cute, innovative way to make a pouch. I really like the idea that it's a continuous zipper. I like the way that, you know, you have the little pool tab. It's a nice size. However, I would not make it with all of this interfacing, way too much interfacing. And these tabs, I don't know if maybe it's just the ones that they provided, they're terrible. They are not the right size. I do not like the way that they look. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to smush them down. I don't think I was supposed to smush them down. I think I broke them. Um, but I mean, I'll use this pouch a ton. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make the second pouch as well. I do not think that I will use the brads. I will probably just stitch down the piece of leather. But also doing that, I can't sew over these metal zipper teeth. So I don't know about that. Maybe I'll hot glue it down? I'm not sure. Let me know what your suggestions are in the comments down below. What do you think of this pouch? Uh, I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Would you have done anything different? Do you have any suggestions for when I make the second one? Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.